Hello, everyone. Hello. Are we crooked? I don't know. I'm always a little. <laughs> How about it, dude? Dude, I'm dude today. Um, Chris and dude coming to you today from Frankfort, Kentucky. Um, State capital of Kentucky. Your history lesson for the day. Um, we are trying Pizza Inn. Again. Again. Yes, this is a place that both of us went to as um, kids uh, with our families. Two different ones in two different parts of our, our city. But um, it was funny, you know, when you start talking about where you went as a kid for dinner and a lot of similarities, but different parts of town. So Pizza Inn was, was one of our favorites. So, so, so Scott Watts. Yeah. Um, heard Mentioned us talking mm -hmm. on, on, on one of our previous pizza videos about how we grew up eating pizza in and there weren't any around. Um, so he met, he mess or commented on the video and said, "Hey, there's one in uh, Frankfurt, which an hour is away. only an hour from us." So we decided, "Hell, why not? Let's go try it." <laughs> so we're gonna go in. We're gonna try some uh, pizza in pizza, and we will let you know what we think here in a little while. Stay tuned. I know you can't wait. We just had lunch. <clears throat> We're stuffed. Um, one, one of our of, one of us is more stuffed than the other. One of our subscribers, Scott Watts. Scott Watts noticed in one of our videos that we mentioned how we grew up eating at a place called Pizza Inn um, in Louisville, and they've been gone for a long, long time. time. <clears throat> we was talking about how we missed it, and he messaged us and said, "Hey, there's one in Frankfurt, just an hour from you guys." So we decided today, um, Saturday, that we were going to head up and check it out. Uh, it's a lot different than I remember. Yes. Um, the Pizza Inn I grew up with was not a buffet. Um, it was just a set-down family pizza joint. Now, we did have a buffet um, on the one on Dixie, but not like this buffet. Like this, you cannot sit down and order off a menu. It's only buffet. Now, you can order... I think you can, but I think Carry it's frowned. Up. I think it's frowned upon. Frowned upon. We didn't even get a menu. <laughs> yeah, didn't even get a menu. We walked in. There like two buffets, two drinks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're like, okay, yeah, sure. So, and and we neither neither of us are normally buffet people. Um, I just you know it just worries me how long the food's been sitting there. My dad used to call them sneeze bars. Yeah, um, you know it's the same with like potlucks. If 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 you have a potluck. I'm only eating what I brought. Yeah, I just, I don't know how clean your kitchen is. I don't know if you wash your hands, you know, but <clears throat> that, has anyway. nothing, that has nothing to do with buffet. It's just uh, okay, more so of being fresh and, you know, getting your absolute best. Because, right. you know, a lot of times buffets, they try to save money, so they skimp on toppings and this and that. So, and but it's anyway. not always hot. Not always. Correct. So, you know, we was looking at the menu before we came down here, and there was like six different pizzas that I wanted to try. And we were like, there's no way we can order six pizzas. Right. So it was kind of worked out that the buffet was here because I pretty much got to try all of them Most I wanted to, except for, I think, one. Yeah. And that was the Asian sweet and sour pizza. But we got, we tried the loaded baked potato pizza, the buffalo chicken pizza, mm -hmm. the barbecue chicken pizza. Mm -hmm. I had to pick the onions off of it. Um, cause I don't like onions on my barbecue chicken. Um, got to try their New York extra large, which is like true New York pizza that you can fold and big deli pepperonis on it. Mm -hmm. Um, tried their, uh, chicken Alfredo. Um, did not get to try the chicken bacon ranch or yeah, the spinach good. artichoke, but we got to eat a lot of pizza. Um, we... Cheese bread. We did film walking in and kind of filmed the buffet, but the wife would not let me film her eating. Um, not sure why. 
So you're not going to have any video of us actually eating uh, food. Um, but you've seen us eat before. It's really not all that I, <laughs> cracked up to be. I, I think the people so, just want to see up close shots of the food. Okay, well, you still could I have did, done that without I, I did take videoing a, me I did eating. take a picture of the my first of six plates. <laughs> okay, so... Let's back up a little bit because my childhood memory of Pizza Inn was mainly one pizza and no one else makes it. And obviously this Pizza Inn does not does not make it anymore either. Um, and it was a barbecue pork pizza, not barbecue chicken. And it was like a shredded pork. Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite. So uh, on the way up here, knowing from looking at the menu that they didn't even have it for a create your own option, um, I told Chris that uh, I would like to try to make one at home. Um, that said, of the pizzas we tried, um, I want to start with the loaded baked potato. It was good. It was good. It was, it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, I got more of a potato soup vibe than I did a loaded baked potato vibe, but it was still a potato pizza. Um and just good. really different. I it, don't know had potatoes that had, an entire pizza we yeah. would have been able to we would have eaten it. Yeah, it's it's one of those like you know like maybe an appetizer where you try yeah. one or two pieces. But it had diced potatoes, it had bacon, mm -hmm. it had ch uh, cheddar cheese, and then the sauce was like a buttery sour cream sauce. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I thought it was really good. But, I thought it was good, but one piece. But like was she funny. said, it's not it's not a pizza you're going to order to eat a whole pizza. Yeah. You know. Um, the only other drawback to the buffet today for me was that when I go up there, it's like every pizza had onion on it. Yeah, you can't customize. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> and um, not that I mind so much the, the flavor of it on a pizza. Um, it just doesn't agree with my stomach. So make, I stay away her, from onions. Makes her fart. That is not true. I cannot believe you just said that on video. I might be editing that out. Um, but anyway, that is not true. It, it just, it upsets my stomach. It, I mean, I don't it know. It is a nice buffet. They have a huge salad bar. Pasta. They had, um, they had spaghetti with meat sauce. They had marinara Alfredo. sauce. They had Alfredo sauce. They had like a uh, baked ziti with meat in it. They mm. had mac and cheese. They had. Were those like hot, little hot dogs? They had, the? they had the little, the mini corn dogs. Yeah, I didn't try those. Um, they had uh, barbecue ribs. Barbecue chicken wings, buffalo yeah, wings, wings. Mm -hmm. uh, traditional wings, which I'm assuming is just regular, no <laughs> sauce or anything. Um, and then they had three or four dessert pizzas that we tried. Um, we did like their cinnamon yes. stick type dessert yeah, pizza. Yeah, whatever that was. Um, but overall, um, it was good. It was a little pricey. It was like $15 a person. That kind of... I mean... On one hand, unless the drinks were four dollars a piece. On, on yeah. one hand, that seems like, kind of high because it was like thirty-six dollars for the two of us with tax and everything. Tea, but at the it. but at the same time, if we order pizza at home, oh yeah, it's going to be that much, and we're just going to have one pizza. Where at least here we got to try all different kinds. You know, if we were salad people, we could have had a salad. You know, um, so we are not salad. So people. like my initial reaction was, man, that was pretty expensive. Then once you think about it and put it in perspective, it's really yeah. not too bad. Because I mean, I probably tried eight different types of pizza. Yeah. Um, so it really wasn't too bad. Um, I did. I did um, want to mention their taco pizza. I did. Oh like, yeah, we forgot it. It was good. Yes, I did like the taco pizza. Not okay. So lettuce on a pizza. I know everybody out there has an opinion. This was diced lettuce, not shredded lettuce, and a lot of it. Like, I couldn't, the, the only, and there were like big chunks of tomato on top, which I'm good with like cooked tomatoes, but I don't really like just regular, so they ended up falling off anyway. <laughs> uh, but the flavor of the pizza was good. I did kind of like the chilled crispiness of the lettuce on top, maybe just not as much. It was a lot of lettuce. Um... I love taco pizza. I don't need lettuce on my taco pizza. I don't. <laughs> you don't eat lettuce on your tacos. I mean, usually. <laughs> you know, you know, a nice like salsa for the sauce, yeah. and then the taco meat, and the cheese and tomatoes, some black olives. Not for her, but for me. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I'm okay. I, I don't need lettuce on my pizza. But it, it was a good flavor. It was a good taco pizza flavor. It, it wasn't was, overpowering. It was a good taco pizza. I'm yeah. not complaining about it. I just don't need the lettuce. Gotcha. Is there anyone we didn't mention? 
Yeah, I'm sure there were some that we haven't really gone into depth with. Um, I, did, I, did I, did try, uh, I did try just a straight ham pizza. Wasn't a fan. <laughs> I, and I love ham. Just um, I think I had that one as well, and it was just okay. Um, and then um, barbecue chicken you had. I did not, and the only reason I denied it was because it felt daunting, the amount of onions I would have to pick off. a lot of red off. onions, so I he found took, the piece with the least the amount. Challenge. Yeah. I found the piece with the least amount and just picked them off. But yeah. uh, The one pizza that's on their menu that I really wanted to try was a sweet and sour chicken pizza, like an mm -hmm. Asian pizza. They didn't um, have that on the buffet today. They did not, not have we that there. on the buffet, but I really wanted to try that because this one doesn't like Chinese food at all. Um, and I like no judgment. sweet and sour everything. Like My favorite wings are like the sweet Thai chili and so, um, yeah, well, anyway, he, this he waits was, till I got for a girl's night and then he orders. Chinese. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> um, but overall, um, uh, it I, was definitely worth the drive. I, I do, I do want to say one thing too. Um, every pizza on there was, um, thin crust. You're so beautiful. Was thin crust pizza. Everyone was thin crust. Uh, and I liked it. I liked their crust quite a bit. Um, didn't it's remember it being and, that way, but good and crispy. Yeah, um, the only thing that wasn't was like the cheese bread, and I yeah, really liked it. I really liked that crust too. It was really was, good. Their cheese bread it was, was really good. Really Very good. buttery. Yes, it nice was, and crispy. We didn't it was mention good. that. That was really, really. It good. It was good. Highly recommend that one. Um, there was another one that I I had that I thought was like. Oh, the I buffalo. Like the, the I like buffalo the, chicken. I like that they have the little bitty yeah, liked, pieces of sausage, not yeah, them big too. giant ones. Yeah, um, but the buffalo um, chicken pizza. Um, he had had his, you know, what plate one. Mine was plate two, I think. <laughs> but he was already on plate three. Um, I thought it was a very mild flavor of buffalo, which was good in one way. But then on the other side, I didn't really get a whole lot of buffalo flavor. So, you know, take that. Wasn't overpowering, but it, you know, could have so, been a, so been a saying, little more. You're saying it wasn't enough. I, I, I think there could have been you, a little bit more a little buffalo. Bit more. Yeah. I, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. But I overall, said that to him though at the table, and he was like, "I liked it." I did like it. <laughs> agree to disagree. It was not spicy. We enough. can only agree to disagree when it's his idea to agree to disagree. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, we had this. We had this conversation last night. <laughs> anyway. She's finally um, starting to understand how things work. <laughs> so we did look and see what other um, pizza inns were around the country. Yeah, there's like you... there's like 300 locations, so there's still some out there. There's um, uh, what, Florida. Did you say Florida? I don't know in if I Texas. said. I know there's Paducah, Kentucky. Yeah, there's a few in Kentucky still. Their website's kind of weird. It's one of them where you have to like type in a zip yeah. code before it tells you first one in there instead <laughs> of just having a list of them all. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if we dove, dove deep into it, we could probably find the list. But on their website, you got to type in the zip code before, you know. Yeah, and the other to. thing was I went on the website kind of while we were sitting there looking at some stuff. And um, it had like an ad that said that you could get the buffet delivered. And like it was a pizza with like different different um pizza slices in one one box one pizza uh, but when i tried to find it to show chris it wasn't there anymore so i don't know if it's like little pop-up ads or what but I, I i couldn't find it so if you know and, and they also had a stuffed pretzel crust pizza yes that, that also was, wasn't on the that buffet. was like only available for carry out or delivery right. which i don't understand but um our son cameron absolutely <laughs> loves the pretzel crust at pizza little at little caesar's so i was hoping it was on the buffet yeah. so we could try it and see how it compares but yeah. it was a no-go no go which we get i mean you can't you, you know so anyway um it was, it was pretty crowded I mean, there were quite a few people coming yeah, and going. Yeah, if, if you don't mind the buffet and, you know, if you have a pizza in near you and you want to try a yeah. bunch of different stuff, um, definitely worth a try. Uh, or, you know, do carry out or delivery and just get what you want. But You know, there's that. There's if, that. if we had one of these by our house, I don't know if I would come back to the buffet. Yeah. But I would, I would burn order. up the carry out and delivery because yeah. I really liked the pizza. Yeah, I think, you know, there's that um, cutoff point of how far you'll go. <laughs> We've driven two hours for pizza before. Yeah. More, yeah. Than one, more than once. I would not drive two hours for this pizza. Probably not, no. Probably not. And so, since it's only buffet, or we assume that it's only buffet when you eat in, um, I, I don't think I would drive the hour again. I think if... I think if 
because we originally had said that we might get pizza and just take it home, but he was kind of worried about, you know, heating it back up and all that good stuff. But as much as I eat, I doubt I'll be eating any time soon. So <laughs> I'll keep you all posted because but anyway, I'm kind of calling BS on that one, babe. Let us know what your favorite pizza is, your favorite pizza joint, your favorite pizza chain delivery, whatever, and your favorite style of pizza. It's like, yeah. if I wasn't married to this one, my favorite pizza is sausage and mushrooms. But she doesn't like mushrooms. Maybe you can get sausage and mushroom anytime you want. Um, and then second's probably the old traditional sausage pepperoni. But we order meat lovers a lot too, so. <laughs> Maybe I really don't have a favorite. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Um, have a... Don't. Okay, so here's the thing. He's getting ready to say have a happy new year, and I have no idea what I'm going to post this video. That's, so. that's not what I was going to say. What were you going to say? I was going to say have a wonderful day. You were not. I was. You were not. I was. You were I was, not. I was going to tell him to have a wonderful day. You were day. not. I was. No. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>